I'm Frederick Douglass, and over the course of my life, I built lots of bridges between cultures, communities, and different kinds of people just like you. Some know me as an abolitionist who worked to end slavery. Some remember me as an author and speaker, but I like the term bridge builder the best. Today in Washington, D.C., they're building a bridge with my name on it. Here's how. Step one, paint a picture. An engineer draws a huge picture of what our future bridge will look like. You can see everything, from the shape of the arches to the colors, and even what materials it will be made from. Step two, it's time to lay the foundation. A mighty bulldozer digs up a ton of dirt before an even bigger truck comes along to pour the concrete foundation. This will hold everything we build on top in place. Step three, hold it up. Giant legs called piers are added to the foundation. They transfer the weight of the bridge structure to the underground soil, keeping everything balanced, kind of like your legs do. Step four, now let's add the arches. Flatbed trucks bring the perfectly designed arches onto the site. One by one, large cranes lift each arch piece onto the piers, fitting them perfectly in place. Now you can really see our progress all over the city. Step five, top it off. Another large crane hoists beams into the air before placing them onto the piers. Think of these as the backup muscles to support our future driveway. Step six, make a way. One final truck pours concrete to make the deck or road. Our bridge is now set and ready for vehicles and people to pass through. Just like that, one neighborhood is now connected to another, and we all have a chance to meet new people and build bridges of our own.